All right, it's almost springtime back at the worm farm. Uh, we're getting our new feeding system figured out for this spring. We've kind of had some talks to figure out what's going to be best. Um, we're going to feed them a little bit hotter food, a little bit more nutrient rich food, a little bit fresher manures. Um, should work out great. We're going to let it sit in hot compost for a little bit and get hot enough to kill any pathogens and then we're going to feed it to them as quick as we can. Because um, last year we think the problem mainly was that we weren't feeding them enough. I mean these red wigglers and European night crawlers are pretty voracious and they want to just eat. They want to eat, 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 and we kind of thought that, oh, we'll give them a whole lot and they'll survive a month or so on that and we'll feed them some more, but we're thinking we just need to feed them a little bit every day and get them happier and get them moving more. So we're going to try that. This is uh, the manure spreader we're going to use to, to mix our food. So we'll, we'll throw in, um, we have several different types of manures that we'll throw in here and, and you know, straw and sawdust and great and all our other ingredients and we'll put it in here in the ratios that we want we're gonna do some ratio tests first and then um, we'll spit it out the back looks like we got to clean off all these strings from the fields and it will mix it as it comes out into a nice pretty pile so this feed this compost from last year that we were feeding our worms is um it's pretty old it's a couple of years old so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use it as more of our bedding material it's basically dirt at this point. It doesn't have much for the worms to eat or survive off of. This pile that I was pulling from was the hottest pile last year, so that's why I pulled from it. But there just isn't very much nutrients left in this. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull from these new piles that we got fresh off the fields and fresh out of the, um, the cages down the road. This stuff looks like, this is after going through the manure spreader. You can see how nice and mixed it is. This is several different manure types and bedding material, stall material. I mean, you can see we got a mix of hay and horse and cow and pig and who knows what else in here. And it's, we're going to get mad I'm not using gloves again, but it's just good stuff. We don't really have to wet it down much more than it is. This is prime worm chow. I'm going to bring out the thermometer and see how warm this is getting. But um, let me know in the comments what you guys think. You think the worms are going to take to this stuff or if they're going to be a little bit slothed like they were last year. We got tons and tons and tons and tons of this, of this so I'm hoping it turns, into, turns out to be a really, really good worm chow. I don't see why it wouldn't. I'm going to finish clearing this section out and start a new pile with a new feed so in a couple of days I can move some new worms into it. All right, filled up buckets of castings. It's pretty exciting. Got 11 buckets. And then I got some bags of our new piles of feeds. And there's kind of two different mixtures of feed there. I got a bag from each one. I'm gonna send those off to get tested. And uh, we'll see how much edible material for the worms is in those bags. So yeah, that's our new feed. And uh, things, springtime's almost here. We're about to hit the ground running on this. Just talked to some of the guys that do this with me. We've come up with a game plan on how we're gonna move forward and get things going quick. Unfortunately, it looks like even though the worms didn't die from cold this year, um, they seem to have ran out of food and died of starvation, which is a shame. We lost quite a bit of our worms, um, but it gives us a chance to start over and do it right uh, with better food. I think part of our problem is that we just kind of assumed the feedstock we had last year had enough nutrients in it to sustain them and help them thrive. And it was older compost than I was originally told um, or originally assumed and just didn't have anything in it. It didn't have a lot of... Uh, organic material in it for the worms to eat. It was pretty inert and pretty pretty finished as compost. And so uh, since it was so finished, it, the worms just didn't have a lot to eat and they just kind of starved to death or moved on or who knows where they went. But they're not a lot in there right now. There's maybe 25% of what we had when winter started. And uh, the reason I know that they didn't die from freezing is I was finding worms in very, very cold parts of the bed that were alive 
they're not seemingly affected by the cold but um, they were small and skinny which makes me think they were affected more by how much there was to eat in left in the beds I think they tore through everything pretty quick in the fall while it was still kind of warm and they just kind of ran out of food and didn't make it um, which is a shame but we learned not gonna make the same mistake again we're gonna feed our worms better feed them more often feed them a richer diet excited to get this stuff sent off and tested and see how much is in there for them to eat um, anyway if you uh, want to see more please uh, like and subscribe and we'll be posting more often now as springtime gets going you'll get to see more of the worm growing or the worm farm growing um, gonna get really exciting here